Hello everyone, this is a demonstration of how I use screencasting software to actually create how-to guides. So ironically, I'm uh, going to use a screencast to demonstrate how to do a screencast. So what you're seeing here is uh, the software I'm actually using to record this, which is called Screencast-O-Matic. Now ironically, I can't use Screencast-O-Matic to record Screencast-O-Matic, so I'm actually going to use Screencast-O-Matic to demonstrate the other software that I use for this which is called Snagit from TechSmith. So uh, if you go to techsmith.com slash snagit.html, you can pull up the software. So the way Snagit works is it actually leaves a little um, indicator on the right side of your screen, a little pop-up button, which you can see once I mouse over it here, where you can uh, capture either a, 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 an image, like a picture on your screen, or a video. And if you want to capture video, you just hit the big red video capture button. So it ask you to select you know, which screen you're going to view. I've actually got two here. You're only able to see one right now. Once I've selected the screen, it says I'm ready to record. And so then I can actually hit the record button. It gives me a little bit of a countdown. Uh, and then I'm underway. And now I'm, now I'm actually recording my screen or I'm recording a recording of my screen. Once you go through and do things with uh, Snagit or Screencast-O-Matic, so we, we go through, maybe we're looking at a couple of tabs or uh, uh, you know we're getting ready to ultimately go to... Uh, uh, to YouTube where we're going to be uploading things. So once we're done with recording, uh, we can actually hit the stop button on record. This pops us up into the Snagit video editor. So we get a little video editing tool. We can uh, hit play, make sure the audio is working. Of course, it's playing my audio on top of my audio now. A couple of options of just how to save the file. So uh, I can you know save it here to a uh, just a sample folder. I'm going to go ahead and put it in a uh, Dropbox folder I have of just some miscellaneous uh, sample videos and call this a sample video as well. Once I put it in there, now I can actually create uh, upload this to YouTube as well, which is how I host most of my screencast videos. So I hit the little YouTube button, just click send to YouTube. I've already gone through the process of uh, configuring my account. So it, it detects that I'm logged into Google with my uh, Google account. I'm simply going to make it, you know, we'll call it sample video for now. I can mark it as being a private video because I don't necessarily want to share my how-to videos with everyone in general. This video I'm going to flip over and make public so that all of you who are viewing this uh, blog post can actually see it. But in general, I would make these videos uh, into private ones. And then uh, I just hit the upload button. Off the upload button goes. I'll get a little pop-up here when it's, uh, when it's done uploading. Once it is, I can uh, go back over to YouTube. I can actually go to my uh, uploaded video section and uh, and take a look at, at what's come out here. Whoops, actually, I got to go to my uh, channel. I always forget actually how to hop around these myself. So, sorry, let me go over to the Creator Studio. So once I'm here in the Creator Studio, I can actually go into my sample video here and uh, and take a look and see it. And uh, and there it is. So. That would be a sample video. It's recorded down here. I can change the permissions, and uh, and that's it. So I hope this is helpful as a, a guide or food for thought about how you can do this. Obviously, once I've created a video like this, I could take any task that I do regularly, record it in the same way, and uh, it's a it's a permanent record of how to do it. So I hope this is helpful to everyone.